with the switch. Whenever you are going to set up a network, whenever you are going to build a network from the scratch, right? Then you need to follow an approach or you need to follow an architecture. Okay. Let's say you want to create a network from the beginning. You have acquired a new site for a bank and now you are going to create a new network for that bank, right? So you have to follow a architecture. You have to follow some, you can say protocols and rules to create that network, right? So in the network, we use three tier architecture. Okay. In an enterprise network, see, I am writing enterprise, not data center. Okay. In an enterprise network, we use three tiers or two tier architecture to connect the network devices. in the network or with the network okay if i talk about three tier architecture in three tier architecture we have three layers of implementation okay in three tier architecture mr arvind you are getting this i am getting it okay okay we have three layers to connect the devices okay first of all we have core layer then we have distribution layer distribution layer and we have access layer this is your three tier architecture okay Okay. Core layer provides the connectivity with external network. Okay. Core layer. Core layer provides the connectivity with external networks like internet at this layer we connect we connect high end devices we connect uh, you can say layer 3 devices high end hoti hai, right they are already high end okay so layer 3 devices like router firewall and switch layer three switches not layer two switch okay etc clear core layer provides the connectivity with an with an external network like internet okay at this layer we connect layer three devices like router firewall or layer three switches also sometimes next switches also in very high end organization who has a lot of money they can connect to the nexus switches also because nexus switches are very 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 costly okay when you purchase a single nexus switch you can purchase 5 bhk villa in mumbai easily <laughs> 5 bhk villa in mumbai okay nexus switch is very very costly at least it takes 2.3 crores 2.5 minimum dhai crore ka ek switch aata hai <laughs> minimum and if you take nexus 9000 series devices very very high end devices their billings can go up to 20 25 crores also only for one device <laughs> fridge fridge guess out there it will be around six feet in height <laughs> okay so nexus switches are very costly now core layer will provide the connectivity with external network right and distribution layer is used to distribute the connection connection across the network devices right at this layer we connect layer 3 switches 
layer three switches. Okay. okay. And then we have access layer. See, at the distribution layer, we connect servers also with these switches. We connect servers, load balancers, etc. Okay. After that, we have access layer. Yes. Access layer is used to connect the endpoints. like PC, IP phone, IP camera, printer, server, etc. Okay. These are all endpoints. Clear. Now you are getting how we can create a network, right? See, it will be like this. For example, this is your core layer. And at core layer, you are connecting two routers. For redundancy, we connect a pair of devices. Okay. We are connecting two routers. Then we have distribution layer. This is R1 at core layer. This is R2 at core layer. After that, these routers are connected with the distribution layer switches. These are layer three switches. Okay. This is switch one. And here we have switch two. These switches are connected like this in a redundant manner with core core layer devices, right? So if any one device goes down or one link goes down, then there will be another link to forward the packet, right? This is called redundancy. This is called redundancy or fault tolerance. Okay. After this, see, this is your core layer here. I will write this. This is your distribution layer. Okay, now you will connect access layer switches. These switches will be layer two switches. I did not write it. Sometimes they can be layer three also. It is not mandatory. Okay, jo access layer hai, uspe aap layer two or layer three. Dono switches ko connect kar sakte ho. Okay, it's up to your requirement. Okay. So here we have this switch. These are all access layer switches. And these switches will be connected in redundancy. मेरी ड्राइंग अच्छी नहीं है अभी कैसे ले आऊं यहां तक ये भाग जाएगा वेट आई हैव दिस नो नो आई हैव दिस ऑप्शन ओके जब लंबी लंबी लाइनें खींचनी होती है तब यूज करता हूं मैं ओके हां दिस इज हाउ यू कैन Connect your access layer switches with distribution layer switches. Sometimes these distribution layer switches will also be connected with each other like this. Okay. Clear. Now here you are going to connect your PCs or endpoints like IP phone, IP camera, printer, printer. And here you can connect servers again endpoint. Okay. like this okay so this is your access layer where the endpoints are connected clear now these routers will be connected with internet or internet service provider isp this is how you are going to create a network from the scratch right network create clear 